Hello, ni hao. In my previous video, I talked about Chinese constellations. The three enclosures are centered on the north celestial pole and include those stars which could be seen year round. The 28 mansions form an ecliptic coordinate system used for those stars visible from China, but not during the whole year based on the movement of the moon over a lunar month. The 28 mansions are grouped into four symbols, also known as the four magical animals. These animals are the dragon, bird, tiger, and turtle. Today I am going to explain how the ancient Chinese associated the four symbols or the four magical animals with four colors and four directions. In Western culture, north is specifically the direction that is treated as the fundamental direction. Here is a world map. By convention, the top side of the map is north. A constellation map follows the same rule. This is a Chinese Four Symbols and 28 Mansions constellations map. The top of this map is not north. Instead, it is south. The bottom side of the map is north. The ancient Chinese always looked at the sky and stars by facing south. Therefore, on a map, the top side is often south. Think about how the sun moves through the day and through the year in the northern hemisphere. Facing south, people get more sunlight. Sitting in the north and facing the south is traditionally a perfect direction, as this direction is the easiest way to get the essence of nature. Let's look at this picture closely. By facing south, a person's front is south. Back is north, left is east, and right is west. Let me show you how to pronounce these characters. Qian, Qian, Qian. Front, Ho, Ho, Ho. Back. 左, 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 left, 右, 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 right, 南, 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 south, 西, 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 west, 北, 北, Bay, North, Dong, 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 East. The ancient Chinese divided the nightly sky into four sections. This map shows the constellation positions during the spring equinox when facing south. Bird is in the front, dragon on the left, tiger on the right, and the tortoise is behind you. Now let me explain how the ancient Chinese associated the four animals with four colors. This is a map of China when facing south, or you could say when facing the equator. The ancient Chinese discovered that the color of the soil was very different from the south, north, east, and west part of China. In the south of China, the soil color is vermilion. In the north of China, the soil color is black. In the east of China, the soil color is azure. In the west of China, the soil color is white. The ancient Chinese was inspired by the nature and therefore named each magical animal after the color of the soil. 
Vermilion bird. 朱雀，朱雀，朱雀。White tiger. 白虎，白虎，白虎。Black warrior. 玄武，玄武，玄武。Azure dragon, 青龙，青龙，青龙 Now let's include the direction for each animal. Left azure dragon, 左青龙，左青龙。左青龙 ，right white tiger， 右白虎，右白虎，右白虎。front vermilion bird， 前朱雀，前朱雀。前朱雀 ，back black warrior， 后玄武，后玄武，后玄武。Azure dragon of the east， 东方青龙。东方青龙 ，White Tiger of the West， 西方白虎，西方白虎 ，Vermilion Bird of the South， 南方朱雀，南方朱雀 ，Black Warrior of the North。北方玄武，北方玄武。In the next episode, we will learn about how each magical animal is associated with a different season, and how each of the animals represents one of the five elements.